Get a bigger chest with Jess resistance bands. That's right, no door anchor, no handles, no curl bar, just you and the bands. Hi, I'm Discipline Dave, where I put the technique in your physique. Before we get started, I just wanna mention that we're less than a thousand subscribers away from the goal of 25,000 subscribers. So if you're watching this video right now, why don't you go ahead and subscribe? And I got another reason for you because I'm doing a huge giveaway, a massive giveaway with all things resistance bands and fitness equipment, just to say thank you for all you subscribers out there. Now I wanna give you the reason why I made this video, and it's actually gonna be a series of videos. I get a lot of comments, because I read all the comments out there, about how people don't have a door attachment, they don't have handles, they don't have a door. They want to have a video that they can just use the bands with no attachments. So this is the first video in a series of resistance bands with no attachments. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and hit that notification bell, because I'm going to have weekly videos, sometimes twice a week, on all these workouts with no attachments. Now in this video, I'm gonna be going over the form and the technique of each exercise because the form is so crucial when you're doing these workouts. Now I know you're looking for the sets and the reps, but I haven't left you hanging out there. Make sure you watch the video to the end because I'm gonna go over all the sets and reps of each exercise and I'm gonna give you a weekly schedule and show you how to fit this into your schedule. In addition, today I'm gonna to be using resistance bands by Undersun Fitness Bands. If you haven't checked out my review of the 2020 resistance bands, this one won for the loop bands that I love the best. Now I'm gonna leave two links in the description below if you wanna purchase these bands. The first link is gonna be a link directly to their site and it helps them and it also helps out the channel. So if you love the channel and if you wanna support the Discipline Day content, I would highly suggest using that first link. The second link is for Amazon. Hey, get it in where you fit in. No hard feelings, you can click any link, but I would really appreciate it if you purchase directly from Undersun Fitness Bands. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, as I said before, I'm using Undersun Resistance Bands. You don't have to use these bands. Any loop style bands will work, but these are the ones that I like. So we're gonna begin with our first exercise by taking the band and we're gonna stretch it and put it behind our back. And this one you can do, go with a heavy band that you normally use. And then we're gonna put our chest out in this position just like so. And then we're gonna press forward like this and we're gonna come in close. So you're pressing and you're coming in close and you're squeezing those pecs, all right? I want you to imagine that there's a pencil in the middle of your pecs and you're trying to crush it. Another tip is that what I want you to do is Try to bring your biceps in close, all right? So we're pressing and we're coming forward close. We're meeting our hands right there in the middle. That's the great thing about bands is the contraction is gonna get harder and harder and harder till we get to that peak. So you wanna make sure you fully extend and really contract that chest. You really want to feel what that chest is like, okay? And you can look here on the side and see how my arms are going. All right? Just like so. Push. Ooh. You should really feel that chest now. All right. All right, so this one I'm going with a heavy one. And we're gonna do the same thing as far as the way it's set up behind your back. But this time, I want you to keep your hands out straight like this, okay? So when we come forward, I want you to keep those hands in the same position. So what we're doing is we're mimicking a fly here, but we're resistance bands. No attachments, but you're gonna get the same amount of workout. So as you see, I'm coming in close like this, squeezing the chest right here at the peak, okay? Make sure ooh, you keep those arms straight. Just like that. Bring them in. Ah, real close. Keep going. Feel that burn. And then right when you're done, make sure you hit that like button. 
put a lot of work in making out these videos here for you. So if you go ahead and hit that like button, I would greatly appreciate it. So this one, I'm gonna be using a light band and we're gonna stand on the band just like this. You wanna keep your feet in close. Now I want you to watch my grip here. I'm going underneath just like this and we're beginning shoulder width apart. What I want you to do is, I want your arm just slightly bent, okay? Not all the way straight, slightly bent. And then you're gonna come up in unison with your arms together, just like this, okay? It's gonna get the lower portion of our pecs, and we're coming up, feeling that stretch. That's why it's very important to have good quality bands. So that way you're confident with this stretch. You don't wanna feel like, oh crap, these may pop. And if they do, that can be a terrible story. So we wanna use good quality. As I said before, I'm using under sun resistance bands. The link is in the description. I'm not sponsored by them, by the way. I'm just, I love these bands. All right. So we're coming up and we're like, we're scooping. All right. And we're squeezing right here and we're letting the band come down. And you know my saying is, control the bands, don't let the bands control you. Leave a comment below saying, control the bands, don't let the bands control you. And I know you're a real one out there. You're really trying to get fit. Scooping under, squeezing those pecs, oh yeah. Just like that. Now, don't you just love that the resistance bands are right here on the bands in the nice, beautiful, big, bold letters? Oh, I love that. Okay, so we're using a medium sized band. So we're gonna put it behind our back just like this and get ready to get on the ground. So just like how we did the exercise where we're coming in, this is our setup, okay? So I want you to get on your knees and this setup is very important, okay? So I want you to push out like on the first exercise where you squeeze that chest and I want you to maintain that. And I want you to walk in position for a push up. So we're gonna come down and go up just like that. And I want you to get about five to seven. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that band off, set up again, we're gonna do the same thing, and we're gonna finish out completely by doing push-ups, okay? All the way. I want you to keep going till you can't do anymore. Come on, stay in the fight with me. Keep going till failure. Do you possibly cannot push any more? Whew. Now let's talk about how to incorporate this workout into your weekly schedule. I recommend working out five days a week with two days rest. Make sure you take those two days rest because that's how you actually build muscle. It's on your rest days, but okay. So you want to go ahead and do that. And this is the schedule that I think you should follow. So on the first day, I want you to work out your biceps and your triceps. On the second day, I want you to work out your chest and your traps. On the third day, I want you to work out your shoulders, your shoulders and your back. On the next day, I want you to work out your legs and your calf muscles, all right? And then also in that day, I would highly recommend incorporating an ab workout. Now go ahead and take those two days rest. And then after that, these are the amount of sets and reps that I want you to do for the exercises in the video. I want you to do three sets, of 15 to 20 reps of each exercise and do a one minute rest. I know you wanna push it out there and kill it, but you gotta make sure you take that one minute rest. So now you have a plan of attack. The next thing I want you to do is, I want you to go ahead and watch the review of the bands of 2020 because there's a lot of different options in there and I want you to make a decision for yourself. Also, on the next video, this is what I recommend to incorporate also with your chest is to work out those traps. So until next time, thank you for watching. Hit that notification bell for that next workout.